The ministry of truth under the Biden regime is kaput. It is done. It is finished. It is over with. They're saying on pause, but I think we all know this is not going to be an idea they're likely to uh, resurrect anytime soon. This was absurd from the get go. They're already, just so everyone knows at home, all kinds of government entities that do open source research into foreign press and information that's circulating on the internet, a disinformation board uh, that is within the Department of Homeland Security, meaning preventing Americans from thinking that they're getting information that's true, that's really not. That put everybody right away on edge, and especially when we found out who was behind it, a left-wing stooge who has a long history of the most absurd partisanship imaginable in public life. But there you go. Soviet Mary Poppins, Nina Jankowicz. The uh, disinformation board is not going to be her little fiefdom within the federal government anymore. That's all over with. Now they're trying to, in some way, make it seem like this is a bad thing and that it's the result of nefarious forces on the right who somehow managed to end what would have otherwise been such an important government entity. The Washington Post and this was a Taylor of Lorenz story, the one who cries when people are mean to her online, when she's trying to dox and ruin people's lives professionally all the time. Uh, the Biden administration let left, I'm sorry, let right wing attacks derail its disinformation efforts. Yeah, let right wing attacks, as in people figured out who this was, who was going to run the board, and looked at her public statements and looked at things like her saying the Hunter Biden laptop was disinformation. That was itself, as we know, disinformation meant to help throw the election to Joe Biden and may have even been the difference maker. Who knows? We can never run that experiment again to find out. This is from that Washington Post story. Just three weeks after its announcement, the disinformation governance board is being paused. On Monday, DHS decided to shut down the board, according to multiple people with knowledge of the situation. By Tuesday morning, Jankowitz had drafted a resignation letter in response to the board's dissolution. So this thing lasted just a little bit longer than CNN Plus, obviously not exactly a huge success story from the federal government, but it goes to the broader point about the mentality here. And the mentality of the Democrats who push these ideas is that not only should there be social media companies and other corporations engaged in blatantly partisan censorship, 